We're going to say... Uh, Howdy, fellow free friends. No, we're all going to say Merry Christmas, because this is Christmas what? box. Or, oh, it's okay. A, it's a Christmas box, it's but it's... It's almost New Year's. It's actually a Christmas, New Year's, and a Hanukkah. <laughs> then and let's say Happy Holidays. You want to say Happy Holidays? Yeah. Yeah, let's not just things. say Merry Christmas. No, you're not. Orange, orange, orange. Happy orange, orange, orange. Kwanzaa. On the count of three, we'll say ha Happy, happy holidays. holidays. You ready? One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> happy Holidays! Three. <laughs> 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 So long to say. Howdy, fellow footy friends. Who's your daddy here? Thanks for joining us for another Universal Yums box. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! So, <laughs> today we are joined by a special guest. In addition to my wife and my two daughters, we have our special guest, Cal. Hi, um, I'm from Weird Food, and I do uh, videos pretty similar to his, except I am blindfolded and I have no idea what I'm going to try. Check out some of my videos. Yeah, so Cal has a YouTube channel as well, and I will leave a link to his channel down below so you can check that, that out. But he is joining us today to open another Universal Yums box. This box was sent to us the month of December, and every December Universal Yums sends out a box with food from all over the world. Typically, every month they send out a box from a different country, but this month it's all kinds of countries, which is really exciting. If you want your very own Universal Yums box, I will put a link down in the description below so you can click on that and get yours. You guys ready? Yes. yes. All right. When you open up the box, got this little sticker says, I safely traveled the world this year. <laughs> and you get a little, it's normally a map, but because we have multiple countries, it's just some information about different countries. And you flip it over and there is a board where you can put the scores for the different snacks and put which ones you like best, which ones you like worst. Ooh, and look, there is a look back at 2020 of all the different countries that we got to try this year. I remember those gummy penguins. So yeah, I will also leave a link to our entire Universal Yums playlist down below so you can check out every month that we've done this. We've been doing this for a while and there's all kinds of cool food that we tried from all over the world. So you also get this cool little informational booklet says we're trying stuff from 11 different countries and it's all holiday related <laughs> so there's stuff about Hanukkah there's stuff about New Year's and there's a lot of cool recipes that they include in these books there's one here for longevity noodles from Taiwan and there's some trivia questions and here's some information about all the different snacks we're gonna be trying and there's some nutrition facts and there's some information about New Year's Eve around the world in Norway and Italy. In England, they chant the phrase Black Rabbits three times before midnight. Then as the clock black strikes... Black Rabbits, Black Rabbits, okay. Black Rabbits. As ah. the clock strikes 12, they switch to chanting White Rabbits. rabbits. Oh, girls, do you remember what we did for New Year's? We for, ate the 12 grapes. Yeah, in Spain, they Ouch. eat 12 grapes to celebrate the New Year. There's also information about different Christmas traditions different countries oh and there's some information about a game that you can play and oh more recipes for english wassail or wassail how do you say it i think it's wassail weasel weasel <laughs> <laughs> and a dutch drink um angie smell oh and <laughs> italian hot chocolate italian hot chocolate is delicious it's like thicker and more decadent than regular hot chocolate yep. we've had that before and then on the back of the book, it's just about some different really things good. that you can order on their website. All right. On to the food, old man. So, now typically we start out with the savory stuff first. So, I think these look really good. They are garlic potato chips. Mm. Where are they from? They're from the Czech Republic, I believe. Stransnik. So, they look like regular potato chips. They're garlicky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Kind of salty, too. These are good. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. They yeah. are mm -hmm. very garlicky. A strong garlic flavor, but I like garlic. I don't really like the consistency of them, but the taste is good. The consistency <coughs> is potato chip. Yeah. yeah. Potato. <laughs> yeah. I give those about a eight and a half. Nine. Nine. Uh, nine. Eight. Eight and a half. Yeah. Good those job, good. Czech Republic. Those are good. Really Poor good. Job. All right, now these look a little more interesting. Next, we are going to be trying some salted egg yolk popcorn from Taiwan. <laughs> oh, these smell awful. Oh, they, ooh, they, they smell, smell like weird. Egg. Mm. They smell like egg. 
They just like They're not damp, bad. damp popcorn. Like they somebody just soaked popcorn in wet. They do kind of taste like they're wet to begin with. And they actually taste kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah, they taste sweet. I taste sugary. That's weird. The I don't taste, taste isn't that bad. I don't taste eggs. Me either. Mm -mm. I, it, I, I do. It tastes like slightly moist kettle corn. Moist. <laughs> they yes. do taste moist. Delicious. I definitely taste They're actually egg. not that bad though. It's got a strange sweet and salty flavor. After it tastes egg. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I like right. those. I can see myself snacking on those on a <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Yeah, on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I could see myself doing that too. Yeah, I, I give I give those about an eight. Those are pretty good. They're weird, but yeah, they're good. Um, Jack, I'm gives gonna Jack. go down to six though. I'm gonna well, give them a six. Yeah, nine. I give yeah, the taste. I didn't like that one. I give the taste like an eight, with the consistency like a six. Oh I'm gonna give them five. Four. They were overall just like really weird. So when you think what? of the holidays, what type of food do you think of? Turkey. Turkey, yes. Oh, persimmon pudding. Turkey and, and stuffing, mm. potato crisps. This is from Scotland. They don't call them chips. They call them crisps. Crisps. I'm excited about these too. These are. Yeah, I love tur turkey stuffing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably love chips. Turkey yeah, and stuffing nothing. flavored crisps. 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 They're oh, they're thicker than Ooh. potato chips. They're a little crunchier, mm -hmm. like. Um, Thicker, yeah. Those old potato chips that we used to have in America called Tato Skins, where they had the skin they, and the potato. They That's how thick they are. They smell like an, uh, your grandma's attic. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, they do. They taste good, though. Yeah. It tastes like you just walked into your grandma's house at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know the herbs that you use for aromatics with the turkey, like rosemary and thyme? I think they use some of those herbs in this because it t has that that flavor mm -hmm. has that more like cider flavor what? sage i taste tastes sage it, tastes exactly like um turkey stuffing just crunchier mm -hmm. yeah that's good i like this not quite as good as those garlic ones though, so i give those about an 8.4 mm -hmm. eight i'll give these a 10. five i'm gonna say like eight they're like a thanksgiving in your mouth you guys ready to try some sweets yeah. now wow well, i guess so <laughs> So they have something called salted caramel fudge from the UK. So these are just, they look like little caramels. They kind of look like um, butter, they look like butterscotch. They do. Yeah. Mm. It smells like nothing. It smells it like caramel. Doesn't yeah, it have smells like caramel. the consistency of caramel. It's like fudge. It's like. Mm. But the flavor of caramel, it's caramel flavored fudge. Weird. It's, That's very good. It's more. Crumbly and fudge, but it's got that fudge consistency. I like mm -hmm. that a lot. That's so mm. good. It's I don't taste the salted part of it all. Me it just either. Tastes, tastes like caramel fudge. That is really good. Mm. I love that. That's yeah. a ten. Ten. Mm. That is a ten. 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 Yes. That's so good. That was really good. All right, let's try something from France. Cocoa powdered truffles. Yum. Yeah, I don't, so. These, oh, they look like those truffles we got from Costco. I think we may have had some like this before when we had a French box. Oh, smell like chocolate. That is really tasty. It's just a cocoa dusted chocolate truffle. It is exactly like the truffles from Costco. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're the same like Costco. Okay, I don't like the cocoa part because like uh, there's like not, no sugar in it. It's not sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. So don't lick them. Just stick the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, those are the same exact truffles from Costco. Or, hey, um, hack. Let your dog lick off all the cocoa powder and then eat it. So good. Did you, you, take, did you take my water bottle? Oh, so we didn't rate those. I give those a 10. 10. Yes. Uh, nine. Let's try some Italian pastry. This is a chocolate nice. chocolate cream pandoro. It's like a cake that is filled with chocolate. Mm. It, looks like a, it looks like a long bun cake. They we had need stuff to like cut that this in puppy up. They had stuff I like will. that in China. Oh, it looks fluffy. It is fluffy. It's like bread. It looks like a like a dinner roll. It kind of Okay, does. they had stuff like that in China. They called it chocolate bread. Yeah, oh. that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of excited to try this. Here, take it. It looks they're, really fluffy. Yeah, there's only really chocolate in part of it. Very fluffy. Fluffy. It tastes okay. like kind of like Hawaiian rolls. It's like a sweet bread. This smells like a sugar coated Hawaiian roll. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like chocolate on the inside. It just tastes like cream, like sweet cream. It tastes really good. Very sweet, yummy. But it tastes like 
chocolate filling that might be in a donut. No. It's not excessively sweet. Okay, just the bread tastes exactly like a Hawaiian roll. Mm -hmm. it, it does. Yes. So imagine exactly. taking a Hawaiian roll and stuffing it with like Hershey's chocolate. Maybe a little bit of cocoa powder <laughs> which, and then put some like donut cream filling, vanilla cream filling and then yeah. stuff it in a Hawaiian roll and mm -hmm. basically got this. Yeah. I, I would almost say that the bread is sweeter than the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't even yeah. taste like chocolate. That's the thing. It just tastes yeah. like cream. Maybe with a hint of chocolate. Yeah. I'd give that about an eight. That was all right. I would say nine. Ten. Mm. Sorry. I'm right in the middle with that one. I'd say five. Really? Yeah. I'd say ten. I really liked that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's try something that I've had something like this before. A pulveron. It's like a Spanish cookie. Is it the one that tastes like licorice? I don't know oh, if it does it, or not. It does. I can smell anise really, anise. really anise. strong. Anise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That smells exactly like licorice. Yep. Oh. Licorice. Mm -mm. I, I love, love this. I love licorice. But I like licorice. You so. can eat mine then. Zero. It's, it's an anise flavored cookie. It's a shortbread really consistency. Cool. Actually, pulverone cookies are a little powdery. Like, they, they're more crumbly than shortbread. Oh, but it? that is really, really good. Terrible. <laughs> Horrible. He says terrible and then eats another piece. <laughs> really good. It tastes yeah. like black licorice. Mm. I like licorice, but I don't like oh, when I it's don't. dry and sticks to the back of your cheek. Yeah. <laughs> I love the flavor of that, but yeah, it, it is really dry and yeah. powdery and crumbly. I only give that about a seven. I gave mine a zero. Imagine it as a licorice flavored, really, really crumbly like lightly iced cookie. Yeah. Yeah. I loved the flavor, so I'd say yeah. like an eight. Yeah. The flavor's really good. Eight. I give the whole entire like cookie negative three. She didn't even eat it. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have something very small so everybody gets a little bitty piece, but it's an Alpine nut cake from Switzerland. Ew. Yummy. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> It's got nuts in the inside, like know. it's kind of hollow. It looks over. It's like it looks like one of those oversized vanilla cookies. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about like vanilla wafers? Yes, vanilla wafers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it yes, does. Yes, you're right. That smells so bad. It smells like nuts. It's very nutty. Mm. It's, it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's like a sweet, crumbly, nutty uh -huh. cookie. It's it's like a little pie in your hand, actually. It kind of is, yeah. Like a little pecan pie. Mm, yeah. Pecan I'm not impressed pie. though. It's just okay. <clears throat> I, I I give that about a six. Mm, seven. <laughs> Zero. Zero. That was disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I give it a seven. That was. I liked it. I you love like nuts. That? You are I'm a little nutty. Nutty. She's nutty. Now these, I think, will be pretty good. Like Cruid Noten. <laughs> Cruid Noten spice oh. cookies from the Netherlands. These are really Thank little. You. They almost look like the size of Cookie Crisp. Oh, they are so cute, don't you know? It looks like Cookie Crisp. I like cookies. You mean the cereal? Yeah, Ooh, only instead of chocolate cookie chip crisp. cookies, it's like spice cookies. Oh my they gosh, look they look like, smell so good. They look so like gingerbread. Good. They look like ginger. Yeah, they do look like gingerbread. Mm -hmm. So it tastes like it's gingerbread. Yeah, very good. A more, it's, it tastes like a stale, mm. but still intact ginger <laughs> Pretty much. They're yeah, like gi no, ginger snaps. They're like ginger snaps. Ginger mm. bites. Mm -hmm. They're really bite snipes. <laughs> ginger snaps. <laughs> They're really bite snipes. Bite size. Bite snipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we want to try something from the UK. These are mocktail bonbons. Bonbons. Now they're um. Mocktail. They're mocktail. They're flavored Mock. cosmopolitan, gin, and <laughs> rhubarb. He's getting us <laughs> drunk. No. <laughs> oh. oh. There's, There's a alcohol. prosecco, <laughs> tequila like sunrise, a gin and rhubarb, a peach bellini, and a cosmopolitan. Gin. So these are little small candies that are supposed to taste like alcoholic drinks, but they don't have alcohol in them. Peach Bellini is what I want to try. Oh, wait, no, no, yellow's tequila sunrise. These are really good. Peach Bellini is orange. That one's Peach it. Bellini. It's really, really good. Um, I'm going to try that pink one. Pink is gin and rhubarb. <laughs> There's gin and rhubarb. That Thank is you. really good. I think red is Prosecco. Oh. oh, my gosh, that smells so good. It smells lemonade -y. They're really hard and chewy. Wait a second. No. They're kind of like the consistency of a Starburst. I think I tried the gin and rhubarb. Oh. That one was good. I'm like, well, I think I tried an orange. I think mm -hmm. I tried the orange one. Peach, Peach Bellini. Wait, I, I tried orange and yellow, and now I'm trying the pink. Mm. I'm trying so the green. These are all pretty the green good. green is sour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. So if you like chewy, sour uh, 
fruity flavored candies like Starburst or Skittles. It's along that same kind of genre. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. I like them. They're so good. I guess if you get the peach Bellini, it tastes like a peach soda or something. Mm -hmm. So probably like they used more flavor and yeah. less like alcohol. Here, you, you can't drink until you're 21, but in Europe, a lot of places, you can drink when you're a kid. Sometimes when, when you're 16. 16. Some places 16, some places 18. So I think that's why it's probably more popular to have candy like this over there. That's really, really good. It's... I have liked every single flavor so far. 10. 10. 10. Wow. 10. I Those give, are so good. I yeah. give them about an 8. Uh, Dad? What? I like you. Excuse me? I like fruit flavored candy. I really do. I'm excited about this next one. Is uh, German chocolate called Domino's? Gin oh no, wait. It looks like chocolate, but it says it's gingerbread with fruit filling and perzipan covered in dark chocolate. Ew! If it's anything so like it marzipan, chocolate. it's gonna be horrible. Apple and dark it's chocolate. Apple and dark chocolate <laughs> Domino Steins. Domino Steins. Steins. They just look like little chocolates. Oh. Ooh, like they look like little square truffles. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it kind of looks like if you were to take one of those Mine square cool. cher cherry chocolate chocolate things. Mm -hmm. and put... mm. Yeah, they have layers in them. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually good. I don't know why it's so good. good. <laughs> the consistency, terrible. Yeah, it is weird. Well, it's got a bottom layer of gingerbread and then a fruit filling and then something on the top. The fruit filling is like jelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like the stuff that's in cherry cordials. And I bit. can't tell what the top layer is, but it's white, kind of coconutty looking. Okay. The whole thing kind of just like when you first bite into it, it tastes like marshmallow covered in chocolate. But okay. then like it's jelly. I'm putting this up to the light and the jelly is completely clear. Huh. <laughs> it says it's apricot jelly. Mm -hmm. A base of lemon kuchen or gingerbread, a layer of tart jelly, a slathering of persipan, and then a coating of luscious dark chocolate. Yeah, strange, but good. I like those. I give those yeah. about a nine. Very strange. Nine. Yeah, very nine. good. Yummy. Uh, five. Yummy to my tongue. I'm gonna say like seven and a half, maybe. Those were interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't snack on these, but I wouldn't like have like them in my pantry for like keep on buying. I thought you were gonna say mm -hmm. pants. <laughs> I don't have them in my pants. pants. You shouldn't keep them in your pants. <laughs> they <laughs> might melt. Yes. Next, we are trying something from Jordan okay. called baklava. And I'm excited because we ha actually had these last year, last December, and they were delicious. There's little pieces of baklava, and then there's one that it's looks like a bird's nest. It looks yeah. like a bird's nest. With, uh, With like pistachios. Pistachios. Yes. Pistachios. I but love I already baklava. know I'm going to like this. Uh. Flaky. It's mm -hmm. sweet. It mine looks like it has it's bacon sweet. on the side. I want to take the bird's nest. It con oh, this is like thingy covered in syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey. It, it's very sticky. Yeah, it's made with honey. No, oh, baklava. It is disgusting. This looks like a cornucopia, mm -hmm. except yeah. it just looks like a bird's nest. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Imagine it's really gross. um honey nuts and flaky bread. But it doesn't yep. taste like honey. It tastes honey. like dirty, not, like something dirty. No, it's honey. <coughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Imagine wrapped around dry, like, like wrapped around dry noodles. Mm-hmm. Oh, I that's, love dry noodles. <laughs> <laughs> that's covered in like. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> that's covered in like honey to keep it together with like pistachios. Uh huh. That's it's exactly what it nutty, is. Nutty, sweet, sticky, flaky. I like it. Me too. It's probably not my favorite thing here, but I think it was good. I give that a nine. Uh, I would say an eight. Zero. Uh, I'd say a one. <laughs> uh, eight. So now, out of all the ones we tried, what was your favorite? Yep. I think my favorite was that, yeah, the caramel fudge. That was really good. Um, caramel fudge and the um, little truffles. And the yes. truffles were good too. I liked these sweet candies and the garlic potato chips. Oh yeah, and the candies. But, what was the worst one? The worst one. I think the worst one. The worst was... one was the baklava for sure. No. That's so bad. Emily, you suck. Bad. I'm gonna have to say that the worst one was yeah. provolone. Or the... <laughs> <laughs> provolone. It's provolone. provolone. The Spanish the provolone. Provolone. Porta, provolone. I would never. I'd probably look say the worst cheese. one would be the baklava. Aww. Okay. <laughs> and what was the weirdest? The weirdest? Oh, the weirdest. Soggy popcorn. Yeah, soggy, soggy popcorn. popcorn. They were, yeah, they were, they were okay, but they were just weird. They were like 
Wet. <laughs> wet I, wet soggy popcorn. <laughs> I, li I like yolk, like the egg yolk mm -hmm. from an egg, but that did not taste it anything did. like the egg it. yolk. Not, not at all. So if you like that video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future fun content. And if you want to get your own Universal Yums box, check the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out all my social media and check out Cal's YouTube channel. The link to that will also be down in the description. And we will see you guys again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Merry Christmas. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy New Year's. Merry Thanksgiving. I have to go to